The driver bit is used to drive screws into your workpiece. You can also attach a drill bit and drill holes. Pictured here is a Phillips head bit, but a drill can hold any type of bit, a flat head, a star shape, or a drill bit. The chuck is used to adjust the jaws on the drill, which grip whichever bit you are using. More about changing the bit later. Cordless power drills have a keyless chuck, which means no tools are needed to adjust it, just ye old hands. The trigger is what causes the drill to spin, and it's pressure sensitive. Press the trigger lightly for a bit of spin, and press it fully down for maximum speed. The clutch control, or torque adjustment collar, changes the amount of torque your drill outputs. Note, it doesn't change the speed, that's adjusted by the trigger. It only changes the amount of punch your drill will pack. Keep the number high if you need lots of force to drive in tough screws. Keep the number low if you're working on delicate projects. If your power drill is having trouble driving in a screw, it either means your battery is almost out of charge or your torque is too low. This tab controls the direction of the drill. Press in the arrow tab pointing away from the bit to drive the drill in reverse. Press in the arrow tab pointing towards the bit to drive the drill in forward. And finally, most people have cordless drills with a detachable, rechargeable battery. Get yourself two batteries per one drill so that you always have one ready to go in the charger. It's a big time saver and will save you a lot of suffering. Now time to change your bit. To remove the bit, put the drill in reverse. Hold the drill with one hand and grip the chuck firmly with the other. Rotate the chuck towards your right to loosen the jaws and release your current bit. Now grab your new bit and place it in the jaws. Put the drill in forward and grip the chuck again. Rotate to your left to tighten the bit. And most importantly, make sure your bit is sitting in the power drill straight. 